hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to do a copper makeup look basically we are just going to do some copper eyeshadow and some neutral shades on the lips as usual i'm going to start off with my eyebrows and i normally start off by just combing them using a spoolie or straightening them using a spoolie then i normally draw the outline using a pencil although i didn't show that step and now i'm going in with a pastel eyebrow mascara in the shade dark brown this is just a mascara that i just mascara one that i just got off the jumia website um now i'm going to go in to define my eyebrows using the illegal pro conceal concealer and the shade i'm using is fawn you want to go a few shades lighter for this step so i'm just going to use the a brush um to blend all that in and i've only highlighted the lower part of my eyebrow uh, because I feel like the upper part of the eyebrow usually looks messy. But you can definitely be sp uh, define both sides of the eyebrows just to make your eyebrows look more visible and pop on the face. Next, I'm just sl slightly brushing in the front part of the eyebrow just to make it look a bit more natural. I'm now going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Caramel as an eyeshadow primer. I've already applied it on my eyelids, so I'm just taking my eyeshadow and I'm just using a black eyeshadow because I want to create like a smoky effect for this look. So I'm just going to apply the black eyeshadow all over the outer corner of my eye, strictly in the outer corner of my eyelid and not in the center or the front part, just the outer corner only. Then I'm just going to take the shade red and I'm just going to apply it in the center of the eye. As you can see, I've applied it in the center of the eye. Then I'm going to use these two shades, uh, that one and another copper one, to just apply in the inner corner of my eye all the way up to the center of the eye. I'm now just taking a brush and I'm just going to try and blend all that in so that it blends nicely so that there are no harsh lines because this is not a cut crease look. I just want like a nice smoky effect. I'm now just going to take some of that glitter eyeshadow from the I Heart Revolution palette that I was using. So the palette that I, the second palette I used was the I Heart Revolution um, chocolate palette and that's the one i'm just taking a shade from and dabbing in the inner in the center of my eye a glitter shade and then for this step i'm just using my usual maybelline eyeliner and i'm just going to apply it on both my lower and upper eyelids strictly on the waterline then i'm gonna take my usual eyelash glue and i'm just going to apply it along my eyelashes where i want my eyelashes to go so i normally apply on my eye and then let it sit for like 10 seconds then put my eyelashes on i got this eyelash glue from aliexpress so i'm not sure about the brand the brand has a chinese name i'm now going to go in with my face primer and i normally use the maybelline fit me face primer i believe this is the mattifying primer and i'm just going to apply it along my t-zone and basically all over my face that's where i normally apply the primer from it's a clay based primer so it kind of creates like a base for your makeup after that we're not completely done with the eyes so I, as i said always use mascara for your lower eyelids it makes a big difference so i'm just going to use the maybelline uh, mascara my usual maybelline mascara and i'm just applying it on my lower lids lower lashes for blush i'm just going to use this crayola lip and cheek color in the shade wild cherries so that's what i'm applying like along my cheekbones it's like a really deep shade of red and i'm going to use the shade mango tango as a sort of highlighter um so that's what i'm applying there before i blend it all together in for 
for this step i'm just using a flat brush to blend to tap it in i'm just blending it all in and as you can see i'm not applying i'm just tapping the brush onto my skin so that it's nicely blended and as you can see that um crayola color is a really good shade of red for dark skin it's not very bright now on to foundation and for foundation as usual i'm going to use my clinique even better foundation in the shade spice which is a neutral shade a cool neutral shade for dark skin and i'm going to go in with a beauty blender and just blend it all in i used to love using brushes for blending but i realized that actually a beauty blender does a better job um so yeah that's what i'm doing and you want to tap in your beauty blender make sure that it is damp for a better uh, coverage for photo ready um for concealer under eye concealer just to hide like the dark circles under my eyes i'm going to use the revlon photo ready concealer in the shade medium it's a really light shade for medium but um, it does blend really nicely and it really has good coverage for a concealer so that's why i'm using it and i'm just going to use the flat brush to tap it all in before i go in with a beauty blender to blend everything nicely I'm just going to set that concealer using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, which is a really nice brightening powder for the under eyes. And I'm just going to apply a generous amount all along the areas of applied concealer and let it set. As the concealer is setting, I'm just going to do my nose. As you noticed, I never applied concealer along my nose. And now I am going to highlight that area using the NYX contour stick on the highlight side. And so that's what I've just applied along my nose bridge. And I'm going to tap it in using a finger because it's just easier that way than using a brush. And then I'm just going to like contour my nose using this Revolution contour shade. Makeup Revolution Contour and I'm just going to use that all along the edge of my nose just to contour the nose. So I'm now going to just define my lips by applying a darker shade, trying to make my lips look smaller. If you haven't seen my tutorial for how to make your lips look smaller, I know that this might be controversial, but that's just how you make your lips look smaller by adding a darker shade all around them. And then now going in with that um, lipstick that I cannot remember for the love of God what the name of the shade was. And, but I'll link everything in the description box below. So I'm just going to apply it all over the lips, even over the black that I've applied. Because we want to do like an ombre effect and everything has to be nicely blended. I'm now going to take this Maybelline Super Stay Lipstick in the shade Amazonian and I'm just going to apply it in the center of my lips only and blend again. Make sure that your lips are nicely blended otherwise the, uh, it can create harsh lines and that will not look good. Next we are just going to apply another Maybelline lipstick in the shade as nude I believe. 
and uh, I'm just going to apply it right in the center completely in the center of my lips and there you have your gradient lips make sure that it's nicely blended and then now I'm going to apply a lip gloss this is the Victoria Secret Eyes lip gloss and I'm just applying it all around my lips I'm not applying it in the center of my lips just around only then for this step I am removing all the excess powder that we had used to set the concealer make sure that it is completely completely removed and after that I'm going to go in with a setting powder and for setting powder that I will use to set my entire face is the black opal uh, setting powder in the shade medium I really love that black opal powder because it's sort of like it's not translucent so it does have coverage to it and it's just going to make sure that everything is not harsh as you can see after blending everything out using the black opal powder um, the blush the concealer everything blends nicely and looks natural in comparison to when I did not have it on and for highlighter I'm just going to use this NYX highlighter can't remember the shade but I'll link everything in the description box below and I'm just going to apply it on my cheekbones or where the slight hits my face And for contour, I'm just using this Makeup Revolution contour shade. And I'm not going to contour everywhere, just on my forehead. Because I really have a large forehead. And slightly, just below my cheekbones. Just slightly. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. And don't forget to comment. So we're going to see the final result after I put on the hair looking pretty good thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video continue being your fabulous self lots of love bye